The first ever over-the-counter birth control could be on pharmacy shelves as early as next year. The FDA approved the first contraceptive measure that doesn't require any prescription or physician visit. Our Capitol reporter Haley Wager talked with the lawmaker on the impacts this could have in the state. While abortions were mostly banned during the 2022 legislative session, many lawmakers have worked to ensure that contraceptives are still available to Oklahomans. Making birth control as accessible as aspirin or cold medicine. 82% of Oklahomans would like for us to have an expanded access to birth control. The FDA approving the contraception O-pill to be sold without a prescription. Even though I might have personal objections to it, it does meet what the people of Oklahoma seem to seem to want. Representative Tony Hassenbeck says she's concerned about the safety of women taking this without a doctor's order. I think it will be easier to go to your pharmacy and pick up a medication than it will be to make an appointment and go see a physician. The over-the-counter medicine has no age restrictions, which could be a deciding factor for some pharmacies questioning whether or not they plan to carry this pill. There's going to be a, a lot of point-to-point -point education that goes with this, and they're going to have to decide if they can manage that in their practice. Representative uh, Hassenbeck uh, authored a bill this session aimed at clarifying that the state's abortion laws don't prohibit or affect contraceptive drugs such as birth control. It passed off the House floor 90 to 0. No questions, no objections. Everyone in the chamber voted for it. I think that's another indication that Oklahomans want to make sure that women have access to birth control. The bill didn't quite make it to the governor's desk, but Hassenbeck is hoping to revive it at the start of next session. I'm really excited about that one. It sort of survived the process. For Oklahoma's own, I'm Haley Wager.